It's another day, another chance to be a creator and use your God-given talents. Now, sometimes you might have had an evening where things didn't go as planned. Maybe your kid decides they want to spend the whole night awake and you barely have <laughs> had any sleep at all. But when you wake up, it's the chance. It's, it's just another chance. So in this video series, I'm going to be sharing my process from the birth of my ideas to the time that I upload um, and share my merch on social media. And this is going to be spread across at least two to three videos. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of the sketches that I've created and talk about why some of these um, images that I created or the people in the images are really important for me. And another thing is, I actually didn't even know that there was such a thing as a collection of images. I did not know that until I started posting on social media. And that's when I started to think a little bit about having collections. And also, the other thing to note is that I actually keep my process simplified. And I know it's not easy. Um, you might be thinking, oh, I need to get this kind of this set of colors. Um, we do have a wonderful visitor in here as well. And yeah, no, she 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 will she'll be featuring um, in a number of videos. So yeah, so you might think, oh, I need to go and get I don't know, what's the fanciest What's the fanciest kind of uh, colors, pencil colors out there? Is it Prisma? Like, I need to purchase Prisma. I need to get um, a hundred. Uh, I need to get uh, Liquitex paints only to make the best paintings ever. But, you know, you got to just start with the things that you have. What do you have in place? And, and just try to use that. Um, and the rest will come later. I mean, you can always, if you really want to get um, some fancy gel or uh, fancy glitter glue, then why not? <laughs> but in the beginning, you just want to go at it with whatever you have. So the ideas behind this collection is um, inspired by larger than life figures. And I also have like a few very non-specific um, images or uh, non-defined people um, in there, but it generally celebrates uh, people of color. And one of, one of the people that you'll probably see in this collection is Michelle Obama. Shout out to Mrs. Obama, in case you are listening. <laughs> and also, uh, another example of the person who really inspires me is my brother. Uh, his name is Cham. A big shout out to you because you really are making a huge, huge difference. A huge difference. And yeah, um, I just, then there's also actually another one where I really want to mention, and that's Ruth Beta Ginsburg. And the list goes on, but I just really want to emulate, um, or at least do a fraction of what uh, these amazing figures um, are doing or have done in the past. So, I have to share this quote by the notorious RGB. Wait, is it RGB? <laughs> like the color RGB or is it RBG? I believe it's the notorious RBG. <laughs> and she says, actually, 
on a serious note. Uh, her quote is, real change, enduring change happens one step at a time. And I just want to say that it can get really tough out there, especially when you're trying to carve out uh, your life. You get a lot of naysayers. You also get people who don't understand what you're doing. Um, but if you hold on to some of these precious people and their precious words, you can truly move mountains. So where do I get these images? I usually jump onto my best friend Google and access a few images that I want to use. And I've actually created a mood board showcasing some of the images that I use to sketch out. And so the first image I used is of Nelson Mandela. I really love the slight tilt to the right of the face, how comfortable he is in his own skin. And even now, people can be uncomfortable, whereas whatever moment it is, Madiba remains comfortable, easy, approachable, even at a time when he was largely restricted on his own land. Goodness, maybe I should just name this <laughs> image comfortable. <laughs> I feel that there was just enough happening to allow me to play with his image from a sketching point of view. And I'm also interested in varied line tone, textures, using the amazing tools in Procreate. It's funny that I was actually never really a digital person and now I'm like jumping into whatever tools I can use. So here's another example of an image that I've already created and it is already in my shop. I found, uh, actually this is uh, my, soci my Society6 shop, I mean. I found an image on Shutterstock with the famous Amasunzu hairstyle from Rwanda. I was really enthralled with this hairstyle and was curious why it was stopped uh, pre-colonial, or uh, actually post-colonial times. Um, if you want to find out more about it though, just Google Amasunzu and you will find out more on it. I'm also curious to know where you find inspiration for your images. Um, I would love to hear about that. Uh, maybe Google is not the only place. So please, please, please comment in the section below. And as always, if you find any of this useful, please punch the subscribe button. Um, yeah, share it with all your friends, your artist friends, anyone who is dying to be a creative. When it comes to style, I find it really hard to define it as I have a lot of different influences also st uh, stemming from a variety of different periods of times in my life. Uh, it could be from my uni days and then also from the workshops that I currently do at the moment. Uh, but I do love playing around with different tones, textures, and the varied brushes found in Procreate. I'm mostly trying to define the character's energy for the most part. I'll also say that I continue to evolve without a doubt, and I won't cage myself in, for sure. My plan for the color palette is going for mainly warm use, but I may have different variations of each image once I get into Photoshop as well. I'm a color lover and I'm actually wondering what are your personal favorites when it comes to color combinations or color, color palettes. Also, if you would like my two cents on the color theory, just please don't hesitate. Let me know. And then, of course, the procreate process. I do a mixture of filling and creating texture. I'll be sharing a bit of... Uh, me creating and the uh, in procreate as well so yeah just stay tuned <laughs>
So just like in any process, there are always obstacles to doing what you do. <laughs> um, my obstacles are mainly to do with time as I am also a mom and a teacher. I do have help with my daughter, but there are plenty of stops and starts. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm embracing the process. Uh, nobody says it was ever going to be rainbows and flowers anyway. And it wouldn't be enjoyable too if things were just that easy. I think, <laughs> you know, the moment you lose that bit of challenge, then you lose interest as well, right? I hope you enjoyed watching the process and I look forward um, to the second part of this process in which you will see me editing a few images. Yeah, so watch out for that next video. So this was just a slice of the process. Uh, it was fantastic having you uh, come behind the scenes and see how I, I do my, how I plan out my collection. And feel free um, if there is something that you think I could have done or you have a solution to, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. I think she's ready. You're ready. You're ready. <laughs> yeah, so look for, uh, look out. So look out for the next part, which is of me editing and in Photoshop and then uploading on Creative Licensing Marketplace. All right, cheers, I'm out. <laughs>